Talking to the moon Trying to get to you All right, <clears throat> what's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. I do have a grounding mat underneath me. This is what you guys are seeing. Um, I just bought this mat. I'm going to let you guys know how it affects my body. Uh, please do not forget to get my catalog, okay? Couture Love, all right? It's a beautiful catalog with all of my clothing in there, so definitely be sure to order and check it out, okay? Also, pick up my... Um, Pick up also my uh, notebook journal, okay? Pick it up, see how you like it, all right? It's also readily available on Amazon and any of my platforms, okay? All right, Scorpio, so let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going on. We had some cross watchers in here the other day. It was like talking some trash. I don't mind cross, cross watchers, but y'all, this is a channel based on us, okay? We do what the fuck we want to here, and that's just how it goes over here, okay? So if you don't like that shit, get the fuck off you know find a channel that's devoted to your sign all right scorpio let's see what's going on in the grid for my scorpios thank you so much y'all for all the love like i know today was a late day you like dang actually what's going on you know what i'm saying look at this tie nail again i just i gotta just throw it away you know you gotta kill it all right all right scorpios let's see what's going on for my scorpios what y'all need to know at this time what do my Scorpios need to know at this time? So Scorpio, somebody misses you. They looking out the window and wonder what, the, what, what you doing, okay? So somebody really does miss you, Scorpio. Uh, you could miss somebody. You could be looking at their page like, damn, little shawty, like what happened to us, okay? So you could be reminiscing today. And there's nothing wrong with a little reminisce, Scorpio, okay? You looking at old memories like, why didn't this work out? They could be looking at old memories like, why didn't this work out? Somebody really do miss you on a real level, okay? They looking out and they don't see your ass out there. They see trees and shit, okay? But they are looking at your pictures, all right? So crowning your read, <clears throat> if somebody do be looking at your pictures reminiscing about that ass, all right? Somebody missed that ass. I can't even do that. All right. So somebody does miss you. They thinking about you. All right. Damn, came out again. Yeah. Whoever this is, they do miss you. Okay. And they know that you got spiritual gifts too. All right. So somebody just really misses you. They think about you a lot or you really think about somebody else a lot, Scorpio. And they like, man, I know she was missing me. All right. So somebody is like, man, I know you miss me. Shit. Don't be acting like that, Scorpio. So somebody is saying they know you missed them, <laughs> okay? All right, let's dig into this, y'all, okay? All right, I miss you sideways. So somebody is thinking about you. They miss your ass. Whew, let's see what's going on with this, all right? Who is out here missing on Scorpio? Who is out here missing on Scorpio? Okay, so somebody feels like you're gonna give them true bliss a hood love this also could be somebody who love hood shit love hood music love hood stuff you know all girls love a little hood shit you know all ages and ethnicities love to shake their booty okay it's just a known fact you don't got to do it in public okay but you damn sure need to do it Sorpio, somebody mad as fuck that you be giving great food suggestions okay it says food meditation Somebody hates that you know what to eat or you know what to put in your body. What the fuck is this? This is crazy. So somebody is mad at you because you know what foods to eat or what foods to digest into your body. You also got the community giving you love, Scorpio. So like this could be a large scale of people that's just like missing you. But with hood love community here, I feel like you do have somebody that could have hood tendencies, grew up in the hood, did hood shit, okay? But they like your ass, man. They be thinking about you, and when they don't talk to you, they kind of, like, miss you. This person from the hood also feels like they can trust you as well, okay? So whoever this is, they feel like they, they want to fuck with you the long way, and they kind of miss you when they don't talk to you, okay? And somebody does look at you as peace, you know what I'm saying? Like, not a lot of chaos, not a lot of drama, just real mellow you know you could be a dude you could be in your own vibe okay seduction so somebody does want you to be uh, a little bit more seductive okay or somebody likes that you are so seductive now you could do this in a way that's not 
uh, you know, superly overly sexual, okay? But somebody really likes that with seductive here, all right? We got Eden, all right? Now, this person do got some weed in her hand, all right? Or whatever this little feminine energy is. But somebody feels like you're very seductive in a way that you do things and they like that shit, okay? <clears throat> Now, with seduction here in the upright, somebody does feel like you're doing something indirectly on some kind of platform, or they could just be feeling like you're doing this at work. The way you play with your pen, the way you cross your legs. They're like, man, Scorpio, you know what the fuck you're doing. Don't be playing with me. So somebody is like, you doing something, you giving some kind of signals, and they seeing it, they like it, and they want to seduce you. So whoever this is, they do want to... Uh See what's going on all right this person could be moving very quickly when it comes to sex i don't like people who do that to me that's very nasty hygiene like you meet a nigga and they want you to come over and lay in the bed and fuck you and stuff it's like that's nasty that's super quick you don't know that person you don't know what they do you don't know how they live i don't know you know you got to be very careful about people who want to quickly lay with you okay all right because that's nasty and it's not this is just nasty <laughs> i'm just like i don't know how to explain it Somebody is like feeling like you keeping them a secret, okay? So somebody feels like you do a lot of things and the way that you move, it's like you real secretive about what you're doing, okay? So somebody feels like you're very secretive. They think about how secretive you are. Um, they also feel like you keep it a secret that they miss you or somebody keeps it a secret that they miss you. They like how seductive you are. Somebody like that you like hood music too. Yeah, but somebody likes to keep track of, of, you, of you. Somebody likes to know where you are, what you're doing, who you're doing it with. They like to keep track of you, okay? Yeah, this is somebody who's not in your family or you don't have a baby with them or you don't have a family with them. Somebody thinks about how they have a secret account and they watch you, okay? And they do this because they love you, whoever this is. And they think about how one day they want to get married to you. But they do feel ashamed and embarrassed about the things that they did, how you perceive them, okay? So somebody does feel ashamed, embarrassed, and they feel like they're in the wrong, you know what I'm saying? But I don't really feel like people need to feel that way, but you need to see yourself. Like, if you out here meeting people like, hey, man, come back to the house, like, like why? Why do you want that person's body like that? You don't know if she got trauma you don't know if she fucking molly retarded you got to understand like you're something is broken with you when you meet people and instantly want to insert that is not good it's not healthy you don't care about your hygiene you don't care about your body and i'm not saying you're not using no condom i'm just saying you just don't care okay somebody also realizes that with jezebel spirit here you're not a hoe Okay, but you don't you don't sell people fake ass dreams either. Okay, so you could have somebody coming to you saying, "Oh, I want to love you, I want to take care of you, I want to invest in you," but that shit is phony. You can only do those real deposits when you know somebody over six months, over a year. You can really see their characteristics, their traits. You you need to take your time. Some of you guys are so quick to manifest something in six months, and then on the seventh month, you find out they real representative was fake, and you don't even like this motherfucker no more. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean? You come to your senses. So Psycho in reverse means you come to your senses, all right? So yeah, take your time when you get to know somebody. You know, yes, there's a lot of love. Yes, there's a lot of lust, you know what I'm saying? But take your time, okay? Because whoever this is, this person could jab you or belittle you in some kind of way because they're broken. Be careful with people who belittle you with other people. Be, be careful with people who try to sabotage you or, or hurt you in some kind of way uh, because of their status. Like, that's not good. You know what I mean? Somebody does want a relationship with you. They want a commitment with you. They want to be your boyfriend or girlfriend. This is this is somebody who doesn't have a lot of anxiety that they once did when it comes to you, okay? Because they feel like it's a shoo-in with you or they feel like they got you in their little pocket. This is somebody who's going to send you a text message or you could be doing this. You could be communicating with this person. You could call them or, or just, you know, send them a message. This person does know a lot about you or they just feel like they've learned a lot about you spiritually in some kind of way. All right. Damn. When they think about you, they think that they're into your intuition is telling them to uh, go towards them. OK, so, OK, when they think about you, their intuition is telling them to go towards you. When you think about them, your intuition is telling them to stay. Your intuition is telling you to stay away from them. Damn, let me find out why. Why is Scorpio's intuition telling them to stay away from them? OK, taking a chance or risk. OK, because this person feels like they got to come towards you with a strategy instead of just coming towards you with their heart open. OK, it says take a chance or risk, leap of faith and strategy in reverse. They supposed to just come to you with an open heart. It's not supposed to be pre-calculated, predetermined, talked about with their peers and friends. 
They're not supposed to be doing this, but this is what this person is doing because of your status in some kind of way, Scorpio. Damn. All right, let's see what the outcome of this situation is going to be. All right, what's the outcome of this situation between Scorpio and whoever's on Scorpio mind that missed them and looking at all these pictures of them and wants to marry them? What's the outcome? Okay, they think about how much they love you too. Okay, they think about marriage, but they don't want to say that shit out loud. They really want some boyfriend, girlfriend type shit right now. What's the outcome of this situation between Scorpio and this person? What is the outcome? All right, so this could be a Gemini. This person is going to want to make sure they have constant communication with you. You know, solid communication with you because they feel like that's the key. All right, and this also could be a Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. So this Scorpio has been very negative with this Gemini for a while, okay? Or just been thinking negative thoughts about this Gemini. But whoever this is, these two people do want to communicate with each other, okay? And they want to... They both think of negative things before they think of anything positive. So if you don't communicate with this person, I knew you were fucking with another nigga. I knew you were fucking with another... Like, their mind constantly goes there when no one is fucking with another nigga and no one is fucking with another female. Okay, but this person do want to have communication with you, Scorpio. All right? And these epiphanies could come towards you after a full moon. All right? All right, Scorpios, let's see what else is going on in the grid for y'all. I know you like, damn, Ashley, where you been all day? You know, I had to, I had to just, you know... I had to take a moment. You know, sometimes you got to take a moment. All right, let's see who's coming towards my Scorpios. All right, who's coming towards my Scorpios and for what? All right, close my door and go upstairs. Right upstairs. Straight upstairs. All right, I'm recording. Straight upstairs. Close the bedroom door. Where are these kids, boy? They want to go outside, but they're scared of all the animals. It just makes no sense. Stay off the bed. Stay off the bed. Sorry, y'all. I hate when people go take their outside clothes and then sit on the bed. It's just nasty. Who's coming towards my Scorpio? The practical. The pros, the dating, the person that they are here for the long haul, meaning do plan things ahead. Okay, so somebody here is coming to you with practical energy. They want to plan ahead. They want to be with you. They want to plan trips. They want to do uh, group trips, individual trips. They want it all. Okay, um, this is somebody who want to be with you, Scorpio. All right, well, let's see what's going on. Okay, so this is somebody who does want to be with you. They want to plan ahead. They want to get things going between you and them. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is somebody who has a side hustle. And this is somebody that you unblocked. Okay. So you unblocked this person. This person feel like you turning back to get them a chance. And they saying, wham, bam, let's do it. This person was shocked when you reached out. Okay. But this person feel like you really are showing your true colors. Like you want to be honest. They feel like they want to be honest too. And they want to live in your now moment. So whoever this is, they want to experience life with you. They want to see how it is to ride with you. They want to see how it is to ride with you. Okay, Scorpio, who ride a shotgun with you? <laughs> Living in the moment again. Yeah, whoever this is, they feel like you happily single, you doing your thing, you know, you stress-free, you setting career goals, and they like that shit. This person don't want to bump heads with you no more, so you and this person could have been, like, on the outs a little bit, okay? But they want to be practical when it comes to you. Somebody don't want to take advice from others. They want to take advice from their heart, and that's how you got to do it every time. Bye, y'all. <laughs>